Hi again, it's been quite some time, but I am Rahana and we are going to play more of Gakko in Heaven 2. Sorry about the long wait, I got distracted by a few other games and real life stuff, but I am back and we are going to play Kuya's route this time around, so that's the student council vice president. Um, from what we've seen so far of Kuya, he seems to be a pretty cheery boy, very uh, kind of bouncy and very similar to Yuki in some ways. But of course, as you know from everything you've seen in this game so far, not everyone is what they seem to be on the surface. So we are going to play a little more with Kuya and try to figure out what what his story is all about. I am actually continuing from the scene in the game where you can choose from the map who you want to visit on that first Saturday that Yuki has at school. And we are going to visit Kuya, of course. And I've already made the decision so you don't see the map here, but this is May 14th. And Yuki's saying, I'll go to the track. Maybe they're doing club activities. Oh, it's huge. It looks like you could play two soccer games here. So like the space in between, I'm assuming, uh, the inside of the track is just humongous. <laughs> this school really is big. Oh, Kuya. And cats. So let's take a good look here. This is very cute. Kuya, who is the world's most beautiful cat lady. Taking a nap with all the, the cats of the school hanging all over him. Um, if you play the game a few times, there's randomized scenes in the beginning. And one of the scenes is actually of Kuya feeding the cats before he and uh, Takuto go pick up Yuki at the, the entrance of the school. So he has quite an affinity for cats. They seem to like him very much. There's so many. And they're all sleeping comfortably. Kawaii. He's so cute. I wonder if I could pet them just a little bit. And there's some twitching. Uh, oh. They ran off. That's a shame. Kuya. I'm sorry, did I wake you? I wasn't really sleeping, so don't worry about it. Right, Wakasama? So that's the cat who's still here. <coughs> Meow. Wakasama? Wakasama. Oh, just this one didn't run away. Mm. Yeah. Yuki, Yuki, I'll introduce Wakasama to you. Shoukai? Introduce. Wakasama. <laughs> so here's here's Wakasama. He's the school's new student council president, Asahina Yuki. Uh, um, the cat's staring at him. Wakasama is this cat. It feels weird to be introduced to a cat, but somehow this cat seems pretty human-like. Pleased to meet you. Did he just reply? Yeah. He seems pleased that you properly introduced yourself. Look, he seems satisfied. Wow, so Wakasama, did I pass? Oh, he replied again. You're smart. Isn't he? After all, Wakasama here is the big shot who leads the school cats. Oh, so you're the boss cat. Even though you're so cute, you're also capable. So And you might have been wondering this yourself. Come to think of it, why are there cats at this school? Is it because the ocean's nearby? They're the kittens of a cat who was the pet of a professor at this school a long time ago. 
So if you've played the original, you know that's Professor Umino and his cat Tonosama, which makes sense with the this cat being named Wakasama. Uh, Tonosama is like a term for a, a lord, and Wakasama is like a young lord, so it makes sense that that would be the kitten, the baby. この Wakasama もな。So he's also one of those kittens. じゃあここで生まれた猫なんだ。So these cats were born here. そういうことだ。That's right. そっか。俺この学校に来たばっかりだから、お前の方が先輩だな。And Yuki is being very cute. Well, I see. Since I just got to the school, you're the senpai. いろいろよろしく、ワカサマ。I'll be relying on you, ワカサマ。あれどこに行くんだ。Oh, where'd he go? Patrol, だろ学園内は彼のテリトリーだ He's going on patrol. The school is his territory. さすがボス猫 That's just what I expect from the boss cat. That's very impressive. At this school, even the cats are unique. よしこれで紹介は完璧 All right, now the introductions are complete. 一仕事終了だ That's one job finished. 猫くんたちはいないが、君も一緒に昼寝でもしないか Since the cats are gone, do you want to take a nap with me? Just come, come lay down here with me. That'll be totally legit. And, and just look how beautiful Kuya is. This is a really nice, really nice CG. I know there's really nothing to see under here, but I don't know. I just, I just really like this one. I love how it's, it's drawn, just his pose and everything. Well, the weather's nice and it feels good. A nap, that might be nice. So, yeah, what's your mash mass? Excuse me. Mm, this is nice. Kono matto, doko kara motte kitan desu ka? Where did you get this map from? Saki made taik soko no soji o shite tanda. I was cleaning out the athletic storeroom until just a little while ago. Sweden matto o hoso to shite tanda ga. And I was trying to air out the mat. Choto ne koro gari taka na tanda. And then you wanted to lie down a bit? So no tori. Exactly. Demo, when you need to tora, host it or emi nine jana kana. But if you're sleeping on it, it won't get aired out, will it? And keep in mind, this is still the beginning of the game where the student council is doing really nothing but stupid chores, so Kuya is just doing whatever request he's gotten on this day, so he's helping clean up. Daga. こんな青空の下に真っ白なマットが干されているんだぞ。This, this nice sky, right? 寝っ転がらずにはいられないじゃないか。その気持ちはちょっとわかる。Feel, だろ、right? それにマット干しはオプションで業務には含まれていないしな。Besides, 業務体育倉庫の掃除も生徒会の仕事だったんですかだったら俺も手伝ったのに。いや、頼まれたのは体育倉庫の備品チェックだ。掃除以降は全部俺のオプション。No, we were asked to check the equipment in the storeroom, but cleaning and everything else was my choice. それってオプションの方が大変そうだけど。Then your choice was the harder one. でも、倉庫が片付いていたらみんなが使いやすいだろう。そうですね。That's true. だけどさ、一人で片付けるのは結構大変だと思うから。Really、so they, um, game, you know, to Do a little extra, put in some extra effort to make things nice for other people, and Kuya also is interested in doing more than the minimum that's required or requested of him.、Uh, so it must have been really hard to clean it up. ううう If there's something like this again, I want you to tell me. いい I want to learn things too.、うん、うう yeah, then I'll do that. So, the time I'll do that. I'll rely on you then. Okay. Roger. But it wasn't all hard. Since I found this too. Umbrella? 
日よけにはいいだろう。Well, since it was left there, I took it. Isn't it nice as a shade from the sun? でもこの傘、穴が開いてるんだけど。But this umbrella has holes in it. 小さいけど、そことか、こことか。結構たくさん。They're small, but there and here, there's a lot of them. それは俺が開けたんだ。I made them. なんで Why? プラネタリウムだ。It's a planetarium. プラネタリウムそうだ。この傘は天空。そこにきらめく無数の輝きが星だ。Yeah, this umbrella is the sky, and those are the countless twinkling stars. 星って、この穴のこと Stars? You mean the holes? もちろん。この輝きが星以外の何に見える well, of course. What does this twinkling look like other than stars? And we got a choice here. You can choose well, that's kind of incredible or all I see are holes. Let's be nice to Kuya. なんかすごい That's kind of incredible. 確かにそう言われたらそんな気がしてきた It's true now that you say that. That's how it seems. そうだろう Doesn't it? これなら持ち歩きもできて。好きな時に星空が楽しめる。This, I I like. 昼間に急に星が見たくなっても安心だ。クーヤさんは星が好きなんですか、like、好きだな。星が嫌いな人なんているのか question, do, 言われてみればそうかも。俺も割と好きだな。Now that you say that, you might be right. I kind of like them too. だろ Right? これ、プラネタリウムってことは、ちゃんと星座になってるんですか Since this is a planetarium, does it have all the proper constellations? もちろん。Of course. そこにあるのはわしだ。その横にことざ。そして白鳥だ。And over there is Aquila, and beside is Lyra, and there's Cygnus. それぞれの一番輝いている星を三つ結んだのが夏の大三角形だ。Star, together, あ、それ聞いたことある。Oh, I've heard of that. ベガとデネブと、あと一つなんだっけ。アルタイルだな。七夕の彦星だ。It's Altair. It's the cowherd star of Tanabata. So, this is all this stuff is actually embedded in this umbrella. And if you look at the CG, you can kind of see a few small holes there. But you know, the implication is that the entire thing is, is covered.、And、I'm not really sure how effective that would be if you're looking through it. I mean, would the, the light coming in under it kind of ruin the effect? I'm not sure. I'm not about to go poking holes in an umbrella to test this, but. So, 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 so. Yeah, yeah, that's right. でその大三角形の下にあるひしが南東六星その周辺の星々とともにいて座としても知られているへえでもいて座って星占いでは聞くけどこうしてみるとどれつなげばいいのかわかんないな。Well, I've heard of Sagittarius and astrology, but looking at it like this, I can't tell how to connect the stars. And that's actually a problem. When we were looking this up to see exactly what stars were in Sagittarius, it seems like there's so many different variations. It's drawn different ways, or certain stars are included, certain groups aren't. And it seems like there's not really a standard for it, and I assumed that there would be. But it seems like maybe it's different depending on what part of the world you live in. What the traditional definition of, of a constellation is. So,、um, if you look up Sagittarius, you'll find all sorts of different things that are not all the same, which was kind of surprising to me. So, Yuki can't tell, and honestly, even after looking it up, I couldn't tell. So, that's right. Constellations are mostly like that, where you can't tell. But I like Sagittarius the best since I was born under it. Kuya san, i t e z a nanda. So you're a Sagittarius. Kimi wa? What about you? What's your sign? Ore shishiza. Hachigat fuska ga tanjobi da kara. I'm Leo since I was born August 2nd. Shishiza te dore desu ka? Which one's Leo? Zanen nagara, koko ni wa nai. Well, unfortunately, it's not here. Nai nda. It's not? Shishiza wa kono seizu kara wa. 
かなり離れた位置にあるんだ Draw different maps. Unfortunately,、uh, Sagittarius and、uh, Leo are not close enough to each other that they can both be on Kuya's crazy umbrella. So, I see. Yes, so no, she, 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 できたら俺にも見せてくださいもちろんそれはともかくイテザだ、so anyway, どこをどうつないだらイテザになるんですか、so can I tell to make うん、まずは何と六星さっき説明したからわかるな OK well first there's the little milk dipper do you remember from where I explained that before? はい、yes. 何との右上に一つ下に3つ、so right、little, little 中央の星の上に4つあれ3つしかないけど、huh? んあ,あ本当だ、hmm? oh, you're right. 開けたつもりだったが失敗していたか I meant to make a hole there, but I guess I failed. それなら、so、case... 吹き矢なんで吹き矢が a blow gun. Why do you have a blow gun? 体育倉庫に落ちていた、well, it had been left in the athletic storeroom. 普通落ちてないだろうそんなもの、Normally, something like、that's not left there. それが落ちていたんだ it was left さっきもこれで開けたぞ And I made the holes with this earlier. さてと、well, then. And then he puffs on it. 当たった、oh, you hit it. だが惜しい。微妙に位置がずれた。But too bad, I slightly missed the position. So whatever he was aiming for, making that extra star, he did not. ダメなんですか Get it in the right spot. It's no good. うん。Well. まあいい。これは神聖だ。この星は有機星。君の名をつけよう。Oh well, this will be a new star. It's the Yuki star. I'll name it after you. 素晴らしいな。新惑星発見だ。Wonderful, we discovered a new planet. 適当だな。That's random. 何を言うもしかしたら本当にあるかもしれないじゃないか。What are you saying? It could actually be true. あるかな ?I wonder. ある。It is. じゃあ、まあ、そういうことにしときます。Then we'll pretend it is. よし。OK。さあ、今度は君の番だ。Come on, now it's your turn. Uh, or? Huh, me? Fukia. Fuite mi taidaro. Do you want to try the blowgun? And look at Kuya's face here. Like, why is he so excited about this? Eh. Huh? It doesn't really matter to me. But his smiling like that makes it hard to say. So, then. Then. Um. So. So, yate fukiguchi ni kuchi o tsukete. That's right, put it to your pursed lips like that. And take a deep breath and hold it, and when you've taken aim, blow hard. I see. Alright, got it? So that's the Yuki star, so aim a little to the upper right of that. And he's taking a breath. To the upper right. I'll face that way and take aim. So, Yeba. Come to think of it. This is what's called an indirect kiss. <laughs> and Yuki pretty much chokes on that. Whoa, are you trying to kill me? He must have turned toward Kuya or something with the loaded blowgun, or I don't even know. Well, you said something weird all of a sudden. Yeah, weird all of a sudden. I'm sure Kuya had that in mind the entire time. You can just kind of tell that he has a thing for Yuki, even though it's so early on. Like, even at the very beginning of the game where he pins the armband on him, he's all blushy and really excited and all this stuff. All throughout, as Yuki's being enthusiastic about accepting 
this role and being part of the student council, you can really tell that Kuya is very interested in him. Which is kind of sweet, but he's pretty obvious. Ida! Ow! What? Huh? I hit someone? So I guess what happened was that Yuki kind of turned toward Kuya and blew the little dart out as he was turning, so he didn't Kuya really wasn't in any danger, but he did manage to nail Ninosuke with it, which is fine with me because I don't like him. Yeah. No, that voice. Oh. Ninosuke da! Oye! That's Ninosuke, chase him. Uh, oh, hi! So, they run after him. <sighs> he ran away. Seems like it. まあいい。俺はもう少し学園の中を探すさ。No, you continue your exploration of the school. It's important that you're familiar with the school as the student council president, which makes sense. Instead, you pray that I find Ninosuke safely. Hi! Okay. See you. Well, I hope he finds him. Well then. I'll go to one more place. So, so that's, that's how the scene goes. Uh, we've chosen the, the track here. You can see it's grayed out now. Um, if you're playing Kuyu's Route, it suggests that you go to the library next, which is this building here, to talk to Masatsugu. But I'm not going to show that because I'll cover that when I play his route. So there's no point in including the same stuff multiple times. So a nice, a nice scene. That's the first major scene with Kuya. And as with the other character routes, I'm just going to show the scenes that are either significantly different or once we get onto Kuya's actual route, I'll play everything. But um, in the beginning here, it won't include a lot of the stuff that happens early on in the game. So I suggest if you're forgetting what's happening, or you just want a refresher, or you want to see how everything fits together, I would suggest going back to my first playlist for the common route, which is the common route with the bits that pertain to Tomo instead of Kuya or whoever else you're looking at. But it fits pretty well. I mean, it's it's pretty much interchangeable up to a certain extent. There are some scenes that appear in some character routes and not others. There's actually one coming up somewhat soon that is um, pretty different. Yeah, actually, I think that might be the next one that I that I record. It'll be a, an interesting scene that we haven't seen before at all, even though we've played different versions of the common route and done stuff. It's because it's the characters involved are Kuya, Chiba, and Arata, and we haven't done any of those characters yet, so in, in Kuya's route, it'll be the first time we get to see that. Um, I'm talking way too much, so I'm going to stop here. I hope you enjoyed that nice scene with Kuya and Yuki, the umbrella, and a uh, little bit of flirting that Yuki didn't quite seem to get until the very end when Kuya got extremely obvious about it. So you can kind of get a, a little bit of a feel for, for Kuya's personality already. But of course, it will be more interesting as we go along. So I thank you for watching, and I hope you'll come back again for more of Kuya and Yuki and all the crazy stuff going on at BL School. I'll see you next time.